Okay guys, this is the official build video of the Crooked Path e-bike. Super excited to get started, so let's get started. This is all of the equipment I have. That's my hat. So the main parts here are the battery, 60 volts, 19.2 amp hour, and it's the standard kind of down to battery. So this is one of the first things we have to install on the bike, and it's going to entail drilling four holes on the top. So we're going to see how that goes. This is the controller, the Franken Runner. This is the adapter for the motor because currently my motor uses the Z19, the Z916 connector. Eventually, I will upgrade to the Bafang G62, which natively has the L10 connector. But for now, I need this adapter. This is the Cycle Analyst V3 display. It plugs into this controller. And I'm not a big fan of the looks. It's a very old display, but it does give you a lot of crucial information. So it'll be very handy in that aspect. This is the programming cable. And that is the USB adapter I need to plug everything in and program the controllers. So I'm definitely a little anxious for this build. There's no guarantee everything is gonna work well together. So we're gonna see what happens as I put it together. And as you guys know, the default battery on this bike actually died less than 300 miles into this bike's life, but they did send me a brand new replacement battery free of charge, and it just arrived today. So if this whole build does go wrong, at least I have a new default battery I can use in this bike. But hopefully we don't need it. Okay, so step one is to remove the default battery and controller. So I have to unlock the battery. Boom, open it up. Now the default controller and all the wires is gonna be a bit more involved in the battery. Okay, so all of this can go for now. Alright, so the new controller is a lot smaller, fits in no problem. I'm probably going to Velcro it to the bottom. And luckily, the pretty bulky l tank connector does barely fit through that opening. so frustrating there's like just enough room to operate okay I got the base plate on and oh my god that was unpleasant I hope I never have to do that ever again and there's so many mosquitoes let's also feed in the XT60 cable from the battery and this cable is just long enough but just short enough to still be frustrating you know while the controller is hanging out like this this might be the easiest time to plug in the main 8-pin uh, cycle analyst. Boom. It's a secure watertight connection. Ugh. Mosquitoes! Okay, I just gotta get this XT60 battery cable connected somehow. Okay, so I got all the main things connected. I actually widened the old charge port in order to get the new battery cable to go in that way. So now we have the motor connected, the battery connected, and the cycle analyst connected. So now I have to connect the programming cable to this motor, raise up the back wheel, let it spin and kind of calibrate. And then once I confirm that everything works, then I could really officially put it all together. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so it is two days later and I think the build is done and working for now. The biggest hiccup here was the throttle. My existing one wasn't the right connector. This is what you need. I'll leave this one linked down below because it's a perfect match for this system and it works perfectly. 
I took advantage of the pretty solid cable management uh, tie-down locations on the Crooked Path bike. It looks pretty clean so far, and of course I did program the controller. There's an app on your phone you can use, and it's a pretty simple process. It turns on the cycle analyst display. That's my voltage, distance, watts, and of course there's multiple screens I can flip through. Tons of data. I still have to program this, but the controller is programmed, so everything should function. And I am so nervous and excited to ride this. I do have to watch the back motor for overheating because I'm running at such a high voltage. So that's just something I have to learn over time. But let's do this, guys. Okay, the throttle is responding. That's, that's always good. Nice. I don't think there's um, modes, like one through five. I'm sure I can go into the settings. Well, I know I can go into the settings and really modify everything there is with this controller, the motor. So if I want, I can increase the wattage of this motor. I just have to uh, manage the, the heat. But okay, we're fully open right now. The battery is fully charged. We're at 64 volts, fully open, 1,000 watts. And yeah, I don't have a speed readout, unfortunately. I'm probably going about 30 right now if I had a guess. But I'll come back out with my phone and uh, confirm that. But yeah, it feels good. It does feel more responsive than the 48 version. And I gotta say, I've been missing the, the handlebars in this bike. The BMX, the very sporty, Nice feeling uh, position. Nice. Now there is one more uh, upgrade I have to do to this bike. And it is the hub motor. I'm not going to go direct drive or anything fancy like that. I'm sticking with Bafang. But I'm going to the 1000 watt version. So it should have a bit more uh, kick to it. As well as just better heat management. But yeah, I have to go get my phone mount download a GPS speed app and then do this again okay quick update we now have a GPS speedometer and I just went into the settings of this controller and I upped the amps from 17 to 27 and now there should be a max wattage of 1100 so the bike should be a bit faster okay yeah the, the acceleration is already uh, a bit more we're going up a slight uh, incline right now. Yep, we're hitting uh, over 1100 watts. Yep, and the bike does feel that much more peppy. Okay, yeah, now it feels a lot better. Let me try and get a max speed for you guys. Ooh, that feels good. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna have to continue to tweak this, mess with the settings. It's a work in progress. But we're going 27, 28 miles an hour, 30. Okay, so the max speed is like 29, 30 miles an hour. It's a lot more peppy now, being that it's at 27 amps. I could probably up that even more. But I'm not going to push it too much until I get the upgraded motor. I'm also excited to see what the range is going to be with this bike. Obviously the battery is a lot bigger, 19.2 amp hours, 60 volts. But the thing is, it's paired with an efficient, relatively small geared hub. So we should get pretty solid range. And yeah, the power is, is good now. I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, this feels perfect. 30 miles an hour was what I was kind of aiming for with a lot of pep. And that's exactly what we have here. Okay, well, the bike is good so far. It doesn't have a crazy amount of power or anything like that, but it's definitely an upgrade. I'm gonna need a lot more miles and time with this bike. I'm gonna continue to you know, play with the settings and just kind of learn it a bit better. And I'll report back in my next video. But so far, I like it. The cycle analyst display is 
I was a little bummed out when I first bought it because it looks so old. But I mean, it gives you all the info you need. I have my, my volts right there. There's like a thousand screens I can go through. And I didn't even mess with these settings yet. The cycle analyst has its own menu and settings I have to adjust. And overall, the build is clean. You know, all the wires are in here. You know, aside from these wires, which I still have to, uh, you know, find a solution for. So yeah, that's the bike with the little BMX handlebar uh, conversion. And I still do have to upgrade the suspension, but that's in the future. I first want to get the power system spot on. But that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know, we appreciate a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.